condition as amended. There's no objections to that. Next item. Also tonight, the Buffalo Common Council serves up a compromise in order to avoid controversy between Buffalo business owners. It was just last month that an effort to roll back bar closing times in Erie County to 2 a.m. was defeated in the Erie County Legislature. But the issue surfaced again concerning a proposed upscale restaurant and bar on Allen Street. And today, the Buffalo Common Council had to decide if there should be closing time restrictions. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has the story difficult pill to possibly swallow if the council votes um, that we need to close it too. Yesterday, Joe Gagino was very worried that his plan to open an upscale restaurant on Allen Street called Fally Allen might be in jeopardy. The reason the Allentown Association wanted the Buffalo Common Council to only approve a special use permit if it included a restriction that the Fally Allen closed at 2 a.m. instead of 4 a.m. And 14 liquor licenses just on that block. Uh, there are concerns because of some issues Issues that have impacted negatively on the quality of the life of that community. Today, Gugino listened to the Common Council discuss his permit, and in the end, council members felt a compromise was best. Allow Fally Allen to stay open until 4 a.m. for one year, at which time the closing time will be reevaluated. I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I, I can't, you know, it, it'll give me the time to show that what I was asking for wasn't wrong. Next to the restaurant is a 100 unit apartment building, mm -hmm. so, there, so we don't want too much noise. We want business to be successful and fine dining, where I'm all for that, clearly. But uh, it should be done in harmony with the ordinance and, and also in respect for that community. But this issue did strike a nerve with residents and other local businesses. When you're near the biggest bar strip in Buffalo, of course you want to go somewhere you know is going to be open until 4 a.m. I heard from other business owners uh, in the area, you know, supporting us being open till 4 um, for the simple fact is it's just being fair. Now, Fally Allen hopes to open around June of this year. It will include 80 seats and have a full-time five-star chef. And there will be a lot of people watching to see if the 4 a.m. closing time for the Fally Allen is appropriate for nearby residents. At Riley 7, Eyewitness News.